when I was young, I loved swimming. I love being in the water. I remember our family vacations and my sister and my cousin and I, we would stay in the pool as long as mom and dad would allow us or until we got too hungry to keep swimming. And it was just wonderful. That was the highlight of all of our vacations was swimming. I took swimming lessons. I was a really strong swimmer. And then over the years, things started to change. I didn't swim as much. I actually started not to really enjoy the water as much because I wasn't around it very often. And I was no longer a, a strong swimmer because I had really lost my stamina. And just recently, my husband and I took an all-inclusive vacation to Punta Cana. And we were at this fabulous resort with this huge, huge pool. And the first day we were there, we just kind of played around in the water, didn't do much. And then the next day, we're walking. And when I tell you, it's in huge pools with huge pools. So we're walking <laughs> around this huge pool. And I started to walk slower. My husband looked back at me and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting up my nerve. He said, for what? I said, to swim. I haven't swam in years. And he said, okay, go. And I said, okay, but walk right next to me in case I start to drown in four feet of water, to be clear. Now, why do I tell you this story? Because the important part of that story is I made up my mind. Now, it took me a few minutes to get up my nerve. But once I made up my mind that I was going to try to do what I knew I had the ability to do, but I just hadn't done it in a long time. Once I made up my mind, I was ready. And I literally started swimming. Now, did I swim the whole, I was not doing the Olympic trials, none of that. But I did swim. And I realized I still had the technique. I just didn't have the stamina. And that was fine. What I did was I built up my confidence though. And I built up the confidence that I needed for us to go snorkeling later in the week. So why am I telling you this story? Because really it all starts with our mind. I could have continued to just walk around that pool and think about wondering whether I could still swim. But I made up my mind to try it. And I did it. And that's the key. That's my message for you. Whatever that thing is in your brain that you've been thinking about, wondering, can I still do it? Do I have the ability to do it? It starts up here. Starts up here. Just try it. Do what my husband said. Okay? Go.